When Roseanne Sedoya anxiously awaited to see her friend cross the finish line of the Boston Marathon in 2013, she had no idea that her life was about to be changed forever. But she took the injury and incredible journey to recovery and eventual engagement to the local firefighter who saved her life that day, and she turned it into a book, Perfect Strangers, which captures her remarkable story that came from such a terrifying moment in history. And Roseanne is here with us now this morning to share her experience and all about the book that followed. Good morning. Good morning. Such a great pleasure to have you here. Thanks for having me. Uh, your story certainly, as I just said, is truly remarkable. We are all in awe of you and what you have done. I know five years later it probably is still very difficult, but can you take us back to that day, really what happened and how you began the steps to arrive at, at, at this moment? So it was just a crazy day, obviously. Um, and I'd gone to the Red Sox game in the morning, did it many years in the past, went to the finish line usually to cheer on a friend, and uh, we had gotten notification she was coming down Boylston Street, right. went out to the fence, and, you know, within probably 15, 20 minutes, the bomb went off. Right, and is it all just a blur from that point moving forward? Uh, yes, I, I think I think it's more surreal, something that I'm not sure exactly still what happened. I still wake up and go, oh, my God, I don't have a leg. Right. But, uh, but I live with it every day, so it's reality. Well, you, it certainly is, and you've taken that reality and you've put pen to paper, as they say, in this tremendous chronicle here that takes us through that journey. Was it difficult to relive any of that through this process, or did it all flow back to you mentally you know, quickly? Uh, I, knew, I remember everything that happened that day. Uh, but with doing the book, I think it helped me kind of understand a little bit more. Also, in putting it on paper, it, you mentioned it is part of history. Right. I wanted to make sure that we told our story the way it happened that we knew. So um, that's why we did the book. And from that, of course, we have the book, but you also met you, you, there's My a love husband. interest yeah. here. Yeah, you were engaged. Are you now married? Yes, we just got married in October. Talk about how that, that all came about. This is a, just a lovely, lo lovely love story indeed. So the fireman who escorted me to the hospital uh, just kept coming back. And visiting just to make sure first that I had survived, and then he met my family and my friends, and they kind of took him under his, un, uh, under their wing, and uh, we just spent a lot of time afterwards, and and now here we are, married. He really is your hero, isn't he? And yes, so many ways, yes, do he you, is. Do you see yourself as a hero to others? Are you just? Is this just who you are? It, it's who I am, and I just hope to pay it forward, as so many other people paid it forward to me when I was in the hospital to come and tell me and show me how I'm going to be okay. Mm -hmm. And now I like to do that for those that are newly amputated or about to be amputated and let them know they're going to be okay. Yeah, absolutely. And tell us about your group, as it says here, Robo Strong. What do we need to know about this? So that's my website, robostrong.com. And uh, basically, I do inspirational speaking and go to different companies or schools. I love speaking to junior high, high school kids. They have great questions. And just really share my story. And hopefully, there's someone in the audience that I can help. Is it just one person that comes out to me and says it was important to hear me? That I've done it. Yeah, and because so many of us, I don't think it matters what the age, but students in particular, they feel overwhelmed. There's so much going on in their lives, and anything that can help them surmount that, and you are the perfect person to do this. Thank you. Is it endlessly rewarding for you? Uh, yes, it is. It really is. It makes me feel good knowing that I'm helping somebody else. There's no book you know, amputees for dummies book out there. <laughs> so where do you start? You know, where do you start? So perhaps you have the market cornered on that. Maybe <laughs> uh, one of a few, but yes. Well, uh, Roseanne, you're a great testament to the resiliency of the human Thank spirit. You, Thank you very much, and good luck going forward. Thank you. If you guys would like to learn more all about Roseanne's incredible journey, be sure to pick up your copy of Perfect Strangers. It's available now.